Beer is the world's most popular alcoholic beverage and the fourth most popular drink globally after water, coffee and tea. It was invented by Sumerians over 7,000 years ago. The first step in the brewing process is malt milling. The malt is being crushed between the set of rollers in a mill. The purpose here is to split the barley husk open because that husk is going to form a filter bed in a lotter tun and to crush the inside of the grain so that the starch becomes exposed to the environment which will allow enzymes to convert that starch into sugars during mashing. After being crushed by a set of rollers in a roller mill, the grist is typically transported by a flex auger to the top of the mash tun where it is being collected in a grist hopper. Mashing starts as soon as the grist and warm water meet. Grist is mixed with the brewing liquor as it enters the mash tun. As soon as the mash is hydrated, the enzymes will start to break down starches into sugars and hydrolyzed proteins. By controlling the temperature and time during mashing, the brewers will, among other things, also control the color and the flavor of the final product. Once mashing is complete, the entire mash is pumped over to the lauder tank. The next stage of the brewing process is called wort separation. Once all the husk material and grain particles, along with sweet wort, are transferred into the lotter tun, the mash is allowed to rest for a while. Lotter tun is a vessel that has a false bottom. All the grain material and the husk is going to settle at the bottom of the vessel, forming a filter bed. At that point, we are going to start to recirculate the sweet wort through the grain filter bed until the liquid becomes clear. The sweet wort is then slowly pumped into the next vessel called the brew kettle. The grain bed is also sprayed with hot water in order to extract all the sugars from the filter bed. Once wort separation is complete, the spent grain is removed from the lotter tun and it is used as the kettle feed. Sweet wort collection in the kettle actually starts during the process of wort separation. Generally speaking, it takes about 60 minutes to fill a brew kettle during wort runoff. Heating is applied right away so that the temperature of the wort reaches boiling by the time the brew kettle is full. Hops are also added to the brew kettle during wort boiling to give beer its bitterness and the aroma. At the very end of the wort boiling process, the kettle knockout wort sample is collected for a specific gravity measurement. Wort is finally being pumped from the kettle to the whirlpool for the removal of coagulated protein and hop material. After the whirlpool rest, wort needs to be cooled down to fermentation temperatures, 15 to 20 degrees Celsius for ales and 7 to 12 degrees Celsius for lagers. This is done in a wort chiller, which is a counter current plate heat exchanger. It is also important to oxygenate the wort on its way to fermentation vessel. Once all the wort is transferred into the fermentation vessel, the temperature is adjusted and the fermentation process can start. Yeast pitching can be done with the yeast slurry recovered from the previous fermentation. The other option for yeast pitching is the use of dry yeast, which is added directly to a fermenter. Throughout fermentation, the yeast metabolizes fermentable sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide and many different flavor compounds. Once the fermentation is done, the vessel is crash cooled and the yeast slurry is collected for the subsequent fermentation. At this point, we have a product which is called the green beer, which still has to go through the aging process, which can last between one and several weeks. After the aging process is complete, the beer is either transferred or filtered into the bright beer tank. Beer filtration involves the process of passing a beer containing solid particles through a medium with small pores to capture and prevent these particles from passing through. After adjusting the carbonation and the other parameters in the bright beer tank, the beer is ready for packaging. 
Finished beer can be packaged into kegs to later be served on tap or it can go into small packages such as cans or bottles.